So, uh, good evening. Uh, Mick here, obviously. Uh, well, I was going to say to those of you who know me, but to those of you who don't, I'm still Mick. So, um, I'm a chiropractor, have been for since 1979, so that makes it over 30 years, I guess. And uh, if you don't know much about chiropractic, it's an interesting profession. There's uh, uh, It started out a little over 100 years ago. A man adjusted uh, another man's spine, and the man had his hearing restored. And it didn't make any physiological sense, but the original chiropractor didn't care, and many of us don't, uh, if it makes physiological sense, because we don't care how it happens, just as long as it happens, the healing, that is. But uh, there are some chiropractors who are what they call straight, and that has nothing to do with their sexuality, as far as I know, uh, and they only adjust the spine. And they won't look outside the spine. They won't diverse outside the spine. Uh, and then there are those that are called mixers. Uh, and that has nothing to do with my name, Mick. Uh, it's a, a term that the chiropractic profession uses, and it's for the chiropractors who are unwilling uh, to just adjust, to look and say, okay, that's, that's one of the modalities that will work, and I want to explore other modalities that may or may not work. Uh, Kinesiology, applied kinesiology, was a chiropractic invention. Uh, it's big in Europe right now. It's big in the States. A lot of people are doing it uh, because the chiropractic profession, uh, many of them said, oh, this is not chiropractic. And they've said that about many of the innovations in uh, chiropractic. <clears throat> but years ago, I was uh, taking a uh, state board, a Michigan state board. Uh, I was living in Canada, trying to take the Canadian's board. They were a little difficult. So I was going to practice in Michigan some, and I'm an American by birth, so that was relatively easy to do. And I was going in to take the test, and uh, Dr. Benchley, Brian Benchley, came out. He and I had interned together. We'd gone to college together and interned together. And he came up to me and said, Mackenzie, he said, spine only. And I said, what's that mean? He said, spine only. You cannot treat anything else. You can't do anything outside the spine. This is a spine only state. Any answers outside that, you'll fail. And I said, uh, I'm, uh, sprained ankle. And he said, can't do it. Can't do, you, can't, you, you, you can't do anything with it. So I get into a room, and it's not intimidating enough taking a national board exam, but it's me. There's a big table with a bunch of people at it, I presume. They're doctors. I don't know. Uh, probably eight or nine people at that table. And then the whole room is surrounded with... Uh, what I presume are chiropractors, but I have no way of knowing. And it's extremely intimidating. Uh, so they said, you know, uh, if you have a patient that sprains her ankle, oddly enough, just after I talked to Brian, uh, what do you do? I said, well, I would adjust the spine and refer them to a competent physician. And I was absolutely implying that we must be incompetent if we can't even deal with the sprained ankle. And a couple of questions came up like that. And uh, I gave the same answer. I would adjust the spine and refer them to a competent Position And I watched them watch me and wonder, is he inferring that we're incompetent? And he was, but he passed anyway. I practiced in Michigan for a few months uh, and moved on to Texas where I started specializing in kinesiology. www.micpeakperformance.com. Have fun.